day. Welcome to the Sand Report, and here we are with Natalie Cook. Where are you, Nat? Well, I'm in Sydney for the Olympic meetings, and I'm staying at my favourite partner's house, <laughs> Terry, um, that I won two Olympic medals with, the bronze in 1996 and the gold in Sydney. So I thought we'd have another guest appearance. This is very lucky. We had Tamsin last week <laughs> and Kerry this week to give an insight into a little bit about beach volleyball, a little bit about me. That's fantastic. We've got two gold medalists. It's amazing. Yeah, there's hardly enough room in this room for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kerry, what's it like playing with Nat? Um, nine back? Well, we were playing together for a long time. Obviously, we were playing together over a period of about seven years, and we had our ups and downs, as all partnerships do. But, I mean, I, I think, Natalie, I regard her now as my sister. You know, we've been through so much. We went through so many ups, so many downs. Um, yeah, obviously the, the biggest up being the Sydney gold and, you know, ever since that we've been really close and we really try and support each other with whatever we do and, and I'm right behind her in this last push and, you know, get her to London, you know, I'd love to see her there and, and I'm going to be commentating for Channel 9 so that, you know, my dream would be again to be commentating one of Nat and Tam's games, it would be awesome. And have you seen her play recently? I have. I saw her play on the Service Paradise, and after a little hiccup in the first match, she made it through and won the tournament, and um, I was commentating her there, and it was pretty awesome, you know. Nat really hasn't changed. Obviously, she's a little older, but that makes her wiser and a bit craftier, but she's got the same passion, the same energy, the same fire, and it's just she, she is by far the most exciting player to watch out on the National Series right now and probably in the world. So is it different oh, watching her? <laughs> I'm biased though. <laughs> is it different watching her play than playing with her? Is it the um, itchy, sandy feet? Well, it's been a long time now since we played together. We, we stopped playing together in 2002, so it's really been 10 years. Um, but no, look, I, I know Nat's game still. You know, I'd love to be able to be fit enough to play against her and, and beat her off, you know. <laughs> I know her, all her strengths and her weaknesses, but, you know, and those things don't change over the, over time. You know, her partners have changed, and it's been interesting seeing her go through all the different um, partnerships and see how that sort of, how they've gelled and, um, you know, and, and the way they play their game, you know. It's it's really interesting for me to watch. I, I still love it. I love beach volleyball. And what are you doing now? You've got a book, I know. But bet you haven't got one ready. <laughs> yeah, well, I have written a book, The okay. Business of Being an Athlete, How to Build a Winning Career in Sports. So it's a little bit about our journey, but a lot of information and, and all sorts of great tips for people wanting to build a career in sport, but also things that can help you succeed in life and in all areas. Um, and it's, I have a, it's the Bible of being how to be a professional athlete, and it's a must read. Thank you, Nat. Thank you. <laughs> She's one of my big supporters too. Um, and I have a five-year-old and a, a very busy husband. <laughs> and um, I run workshops for, you know, from the content of my book as well. And I do a lot of speaking. So I, I'm still immersed in the sport. As I said, commentating for the Olympics and commentating on the national series. And I'm um, just still, you know, doing the same thing I've always done, but doing it wiser and, and smarter and, and staying up to date with technology like, you know, these great reports. Yeah, fantastic. That's very exciting. Can't Ooh, believe it. I'm talking about it. you. <laughs> <laughs> take the limelight a lot, so I'm at the front now. You can say <laughs> um, So it's been a great week for me this week. I've had what we call an unload week. So after New Zealand, um, I got to not have to go on the sand this week and just do some weights and some general core strength because I've been going really hard since um, the 1st of January. So it's been a great unload week, finishing the week here in Sydney, and tomorrow I have a corporate, supposed to be beach volleyball, but it's actually going to be grass volleyball day with one of my sponsors, BMD. So the stuff we do. That's how, you, <laughs> that's how we make our money and that's how we roll. Very good. So where will we catch you next week? Next week in Melbourne, training oh. with Tam. So um, I've got a Queensland Olympic Council golf, Qantas Legends Golf Day on Monday uh, that I'm hosting. I've decided not to play, even though golf is one of my games, but I've decided not to play just to, you know, I don't want to do anything. anything <laughs> you know, I wrapped myself in cotton wool for the last four months. So then uh, Monday night I fly to Melbourne and I'm in Melbourne all week. So the Sand Report will be... 
from Brighton Beach next week in Melbourne. Fantastic. Thanks, girls. That's fantastic. See you next week. See ya. See ya. <laughs>